Welcome to What's Welcome the Body. Welcome to What's the Body. <laughs> hey, we have the incredible Miss Madison Ann on today, also known as the Bra Lady on bra TikTok. Lady. On TikTok. On TikTok. T I T talk. And I found you on TikTok probably a year and a half ago. Mm. And I, I send you to like all of my clients. If people are going, what do I wear for my boudoir shoot? I send them your information. I'm like, you got to follow her. Absolutely. Go check out this account because the way that you help people fit bras and find bras is incredible. So we're so excited to have you. I'm so excited to be here. I, um, y'all are probably my fourth or fifth podcast that I've been on. And I really enjoy talking to like, like-minded people and kind of other people that speak the language that I'm speaking. So it's okay. great to be here. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And you don't, you're not really on TikTok, are you? I just, I have the Hickey account. Yeah. And so I am on TikTok, but it's like okay. as Hickey and, you know, I'm familiar with you because I've seen a bunch of your TikToks, but it's, it's more so like the Hickey realm. It's a, it's like the business, but I mean, yeah. don't think I don't have a glass of wine at, you know, nine o'clock at night and don't binge looking at the TikTok. I'm I doing know. that. I know. Yeah. Uh, I stumbled across your account because you came up, you duetted somebody's that I had already been following. Mm -hmm. And this was, it was either a duet or you were like talking on a bra that somebody had been talking about. And I, I ended up down a rabbit hole and I followed you ever since. And I, um, bras are hard and confusing and messy and the platform itself doesn't do a great job of like showing content that allows people to like mm -hmm. learn and build knowledge. And I love the way that you have like morphed and manifested your platform so that you are visual, you are seen. And I want you to talk a little bit about that. Like what's it been navigating the waters for you on TikTok? Sure. Um, I'll start with how I started. Um, okay. and then that the answer to that is accidentally. So I started <laughs> in the bra world, uh, um, in 2016, I, um, and that was also kind of accidental. I was hired at a store that half of it was vintage clothing and half of it was lingerie. And I was hired on the vintage clothing side. Yeah. And about a month in, they fired all of the lingerie people and um, like moved me there. And so I had to very quickly learn how to navigate lingerie. I'd never like been taught how to bra wow. fit or anything. And they gave me a 36 page fitting oh manual. God. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, who's going to read a 36 page fitting manual? I don't know. Not me. No. Yeah. Um, but honestly, it was the most intensive thing I come across. Um, it talked about how to fit different people, how to fit, you know, mastectomy patients, how to fit nursing oh. mothers, how to fit pregnant people. Um, it was honestly the most comprehensive thing I'd ever seen. And it was something okay. the company had come up with. And it taught me that I was in the wrong bra size. And so I just poured myself into it and I worked there until 2020. Whoa. And mm -hmm. yeah. Um, oh and that was what I spent my time doing. And the fortunately closed in June of 2020 due to COVID, oh, COVID. and so myself unemployed. I was like, what should I do? And I had a friend say, well, you should take this knowledge and put it on TikTok. And I had no followers on TikTok. I was like, yeah, you know what? Why not? Yeah. And I posted this little video about like, hey, here's how you find a size just sitting at home. And I posted it, didn't think anything of it. And two hours later, my sister texted me and was like, are you aware that your video has 6 million views? Oh my oh God. Oh my God. Their first video on TikTok had 6 uh -huh. million views. <gasps> yeah. Ooh, um, holy bubba Jesus. And I had a hundred thousand followers within five days. Oh my um, God. God. And for some- viral. Holy. Literally, um, I had 500,000 within a month and I had, you know, you want to talk about growth. I had no idea what to do. You know, I had people right. reaching out to me for my rates. I had people reaching out to me about, you know, collabs. And I'm like, I had never heard of these words until, you know, just now. So, um, but you're sitting at 1.2 right now. That's incredible. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. Um, and definitely like the growth has slowed down. I think like a lot of people in the end of 2020, the last half of 2020, everyone was still kind of working from home, mm -hmm. people's sizes changing. Um, people were wanting like less wires. I think uh, what people were wanting was changing yeah. a lot. So I think yeah. having access to something where like fitting rooms were mm -hmm. like as a resource was like, necessary um so that's how I started and then just kind of navigating um TikTok is 
I call them like my little loopholes um, because it has just been, it's been one loophole after the other. Yes. So many things I discovered quite quickly is mm -hmm. that you like, I'd have to censor words. I'd have to censor bra. I would have to censor boob. And like, so that was very interesting to kind of right off the bat, I couldn't right. use just you like- You can't see bra? No. No. I like in definitely captions. definitely can't in the captions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Or, so, the, or in the title, like down at the bottom, like, mm -hmm. how, yeah, you can't use any mm -hmm. of that. So I couldn't say, um, I couldn't say bra. I couldn't say boob. I not sure if I can say lingerie, but I like would censor that one mm -hmm. regardless. Um, mm -hmm. So that was kind of the first thing that I had to jump through. I couldn't wear a bra um, mm -hmm. that I think part of the, of the reason for that was because I have big boobs. Um, if you can see like really smaller chested people wearing like bikinis or all bras all the time. And mm -hmm. that kind of remains and also has millions of views. So I have to wear it like over my clothes in order to explain different things. Mm. Or even if it's the same, like kind of color of my skin tone, wearing it over my clothes oh, will get yeah. removed. So it has oh. to be a different color. Yeah. All these fun little things yeah. I've found um, over the course of a while that if I just like recorded in TikTok and posted directly from TikTok, things would get in immediately removed. So I have to film outside of TikTok and oh. post it from there because I think there's like some sort of flag on my account. So see, mine's the other way. If I record it outside and I try and import it, they're like, mm, absolutely no. It's so funny. It's such a funny little app, isn't it? <laughs> And it's so frustrating because like, I'm sure a lot of your business comes from TikTok. It does. Oh. Yeah. The, yeah. Like ad collabs that I get, you know, through yeah. the businesses that I work with. Um, not so much, you know, from TikTok itself. Um, and it's right. a little no. bit different because right. I've just yeah. kind of been accepted into the creator program, which is a slightly different like creator yeah. fund, right. but like TikTok itself really does not pay creators. No. So I've for the most part, we've been relying on the brands that I work with. And there have been times where due to their censorship, I've not been able to post the ads that I need to post. And so that, you know, hurts oh. my relationships with these brands and also my ability to make money. Yeah. So it's very, it's a very interesting place yeah. to be and to be, try to be a creator, especially in a space where, you know, in theory, what I'm doing is allowed by the community guidelines because right. it is for educational purposes. Mm -hmm. And for a while, I was able to kind of appeal things under that guise. And now I'm not even allowed to. Appeal I'm not them. even allowed to appeal anymore. They took that. Me right neither. Me me neither. Ago, so I'm with you. <laughs> they, they were like, no more appeals for you. Like yeah. we're done. We're absolutely done with you. Yeah. Uh, and I have the same flags on my account. My account is actually um, sliding backwards at this point. So I very much understand the like, ugh, like kind of weirdness. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's tough. And is this, mm -hmm. is that your full time way to like monetization from the ad partnerships or? Pretty much. Oh, yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. Your um, comprehensive bra guide is actually really, really nice. Um, and it's something I send to people as well. Um, yeah. So I think that's really cool. I also love that on it, you say like, hey, don't call me specifically these are here's guidelines, but don't actually call because trying bras on is really, well, it's intimate. It's, it is, but it's also really annoying. Yeah. I need help. I don't have, yeah. and I, I really wanted to give up like wires. And after COVID too, it's funny you said that I was like, okay, if it's not comfortable, I'm not wearing it. No more hard bras. And then I found this like one bra, this true brand on at Nordstrom. And mm -hmm. I really like they're stretchy. I have one on now. I don't know how to shop for a bra. Nobody People does. have told me I'm 34 D 32 F. I don't know. Yeah. It's like, what are you? Yeah. No, it's hard until you actually know, like what you're like when I, the first time I went to go get bra fitted, <laughs> I was wearing a, a 44 B cup and I left in a 38 double D. Uh, I was going to say you're not a B cup. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not even kind of. And I, she, she, it was like comical. Cause we were, we, we were like doing a recording for, um, and she's a local bra shop, but we were doing like a recording for my social media. And she was like, I'm sorry, you have what cup on? I was like, yeah, no, I, I know it's wrong. Cause nothing really fits right. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so I ended up leaving in a totally different bra size mm -hmm. and it was like liberating. Cause I felt like when I looked down, like my boobies each had a personality, there was one on one side and one right. on the other. And it wasn't just like a blob of tissue yeah. that I looked down on. Like, it was just really, really cool. 
Movies um, are confusing. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Um, do you feel like you're helping people with like body liberation through proper fitting? I feel like when you're, when you come across my page, I very much feel that. I'm just wondering if you do on your yeah. end. Too. No, I think that's a great way of putting it. I definitely, what I try to give people is the access to the education to like put verb, like to put words to things yeah. that maybe they couldn't before or to mm. put, you know, like, um, to figure out what is wrong about the bras to figure out what their body needs mm -hmm. where they didn't have that information before because right. like kind of what you said yeah bra, bra shopping like nobody really likes it nobody no, really you worst. know it, yeah enjoys doing it and I think it's because you know especially kind of for people my age kind of like the 30s and youngers it's like we all went to Victoria's Secret when we were like 14 mm -hmm. and yeah. some girl put a tape measure around our boobs and said like 36d and that was it and yeah. we all went and we bought like the demi double sexy and yeah. nobody <laughs> told us what to do afterwards yeah. you know you so you just continue to buy 36ds and yeah. maybe it's uncomfortable and maybe yeah. it's like you know you don't really enjoy wearing it but nobody tells you hey here's what happens when that stops fitting here's how to know it, it stops fitting just in general or how to know that that it was not the right size mm -hmm. to begin with so right. i think what i'm trying to provide is like hey here's how to know it doesn't fit or here's how to know you need to go right. up or down a size because it broads another piece of clothing like i liken yes. it to you know jeans or shoes yes. it's like when we put on shoes you know, you don't walk around, you don't want to walk around in shoes that are uncomfortable. All day. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. if your shoe is too tight or too loose, you buy another pair of shoes that yes. fit correctly. And so, you know, all of us say, like, I take off my bra at the end of the day in the same way that I take off my shoes or my jeans at the end of the day. Right. But I shouldn't want to rip my bra off like after four <laughs> hours of every wear. day, every um, single day. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, I always say like, if you do, if you're getting like like absolutely discomfort if you like yeah. are in physical pain from your bra that's a yeah. sign that it like it shouldn't be like that yeah. right. and I think nobody tells us that nobody tells you what it should and shouldn't be like right. and I'm hoping that I'm able to bridge that gap of what we weren't given access to that education right. we weren't given access to when we right. were younger and should have been given that information yeah. So I'd like to talk about like top three or four things that you think are standard that people really don't understand, mm. you know, that like you were just saying, you know, I can help people sort of understand when it doesn't fit or when it does fit or whatever those, maybe you can talk about a couple of those. And I'd, I'd really like to, to go to a place where we can dive into like bigger breasts, being able to wear cute shirts mm -hmm. with tape and with little pasty, like I don't know what I'm doing. I got a roll of tape over there and some cute dresses I've never worn. And uh, Caitlin probably knows what she's I doing. Do. I don't have any fucking I earthly idea what to do with that pasty sticker and how to get that <laughs> tape up right in my cute outfits. And so I don't wear yeah. them because it's like mm -hmm. the girls would be swinging, hanging. Look, you got to roll those tits girls up I know. and just shove them in there. <laughs> Let them swing. <laughs> so I, I think that would be some really good information, not only for me, but right. there's got to be somebody else out there that has the same question. Yeah. I think like knowing kind of when your bra fits and when it doesn't is like the right. biggest thing. So I think a lot of people want their bras to be comfortable over they want them to be supportive. I think like it's, it's kind of, and you can let me know if I'm kind of veering off, but like there's a big kind of disconnect between people want like comfort but they also want the support. They want like yeah. the lift, but yeah. like sometimes like the comfort has to slightly be sacrificed for the lift. So yes. like the biggest thing is that with a bra, like 90% of the support of your bra comes from the band. That's why it's really important mm -hmm. that you're in the correct bra, the band size. Right. Um, so we want it to be firm. We want it to be snug. And a lot of people are concerned about back fat. 
Like yes. that's the biggest thing that we hear is that like, I don't want back fat. I want it to be smooth and I don't want it to like dig into me at all. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's like, sure. And like, there are some like very valid concerns about like sensitivity issues and like the feel of something digging into you. And that's like completely valid as well. But there are some people who simply don't want the look of mm. like that slight ridge that mm-hmm. you get when something is tight, but then they complain if the band is too big that the cup is not lifting at all at all it's like well Mm -hmm. it's think of it as a seesaw Mm -hmm. the band is not firm you're not getting that balance right the cup is just falling yeah yeah so I think like a lot of people don't understand the importance of the band and then like if Mm -hmm. the band does not like fit that can also affect how the straps fit Yes. So a lot of people, like if they're not wearing the correct band size, they can either have too tight straps or too loose straps. And yeah. like, off your I hate yeah. when my straps fall off. Oh, it's so, so annoying. Yeah. Like that's the most annoying thing to me. So I think like people really underestimate like the like importance of a well-fitting band um, and like what other benefits you can get from that as opposed to like the aesthetic concerns um because the aesthetic benefits can be that you like your bra your your breasts are quite round and they're supported um (laughs) right right um and not necessarily like you know the fear of the fat phobia of the the back fat um so I definitely we're not we're not hiding that from anybody whether you have a bra on or not babe that's my favorite is like Try it without a bra. You still have back fat. Like who cares? It's our body. Like, yeah. Like our bodies squish and pull and everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. um, I think that's important to remember is that we're not, we're not completely flat and yeah. everything. Um, and so how I boring think, this like, world would be. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Bands are important. I think seams are also important. That's another big thing that I kind of get a lot is that people want seamless. They mm. don't want people to think that they have a bra on period. Oh. And, um, I'm like, first of all, who was looking that deeply at you to like, they're going to point out that they can see the seams on your bra. Like, I think that's a concern number one. Um, and the other thing is at a certain point, like I would say over an H cup seams can become necessary because right. like, especially if you want that rounded lifted thing, mm, like that shape seams, seams like, um, I always think of them like boning, but, um, there are some, there's different cups and like Mm -hmm. a t-shirt bra, for example, doesn't have seamings on the front. Oh, oh, oh. Whereas like a yeah does. Yeah. And I don't do seams. Yeah. Like, and that's fine. Like, but definitely like bigger cups, like sometimes they become necessary because Uh, like the weight of the cup, like the construction of the cup, like necessitates that. Um, mm, and like some I mean, people like don't realize that. And so like that becomes necessarily if they're not wanting a, like a t-shirt bra. So I think like, that's another thing to remember is that sometimes mm-hmm. things are necessary to achieve the look you want. So yeah, I'm like 45 years old and you didn't know that. No, I don't know. There's oh. lots, yeah. I, there, there's lots of things that people just don't know about bras. I think that's the biggest thing, but yeah, I think probably those are two things to yeah. remember is that sometimes mm-hmm. things are gained when you, like, yeah look at things from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the mind blowing things that you talked about, um, I, this was probably a year and a half ago, um, that the center support on your bra is actually supposed to touch your sternum. Oh yeah. I remember looking down and being like, well, fuck (laughs) this ain't it. Right. Like the, the middle part is actually supposed to touch your sternum. And if you Mm -hmm. don't have an appropriate band width, like the, the band itself is not fit appropriately. Oftentimes it can like pull and do weird things. And it like separates from your body and it does all these just like strange things. The other thing I didn't realize was that when my straps were falling off, it wasn't because my bra didn't fit. It was because I had the wrong band size and the band in the back was pulling up and then there was no tension. And so like, it was just all of these little nuances that you were giving yeah. these like little tips and tricks. I would look down and be like, hot ah, damn, I thought I was doing better. And then it's the straps and then it's the thing in the sternum. And then it's like, I got the wrong type of cup for the type of titty I have. Like, I didn't Boobies. know, I didn't know boobs had different shapes. You taught me that too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so I think it's important to know that all bodies are very different and there's yeah. one size fits mm-hmm. most. Firm mm-hmm. bra. And that's a big thing that I get a lot is uh, like the comments you mentioned in the bra guide. I have that big thing is like, mm-hmm. please don't DM me asking for fit advice because a lot of the times the DMs are like, 
I am a 44 D what will fit me. And I'm like, that doesn't tell me anything mm -hmm. that really doesn't because there's so much more. I, I always say kind of the size is the least important part of mm -hmm. like the bra recommendation I would oh. give you. Like, yeah, because it like, it's about your shape. It's about like your body type. Are you petite? Because that can affect like the strap length that, um, or like the wire going into your armpit. Um, there's like your breast shape, like there's so much more that goes yeah. into it. It really is that like the size is almost the least important part because it's more so about like the bra type that yeah. would best support your shape than it is about like the size, like that's Absolutely. kind of secondary to the best shape that would give you. Right. Um, can you talk a little bit about breast shape? Is that something you feel yeah. comfortable with? Absolutely. So there are like, depending on who you ask, there's like anywhere between like seven to 12 different breast shapes. Yeah. It can get a little bit pedantic. Um, but I kind of say that there's three main like categories. Um, the ones I use are bottom heavy. Um, and that's where you kind of carry a lot of your volume, like in a dropped sort of way. Um, that can be like the two main ones that come to mind are bell and teardrop. That's what I would say a lot of people are, I don't want to like use the term most, but like a lot of people it's I'm bell. Um, like, and that just kind of means that the volume like starts off a little bit here and then drops. And then you have a little bit more of a round shape, a yeah. little bit lower. Um, hmm. and that just means that you need a little bit more support, like having that lift, like some hands, you know, you're going to get that yeah. look of hands yeah, lifting yeah. you up. Absolutely. Um, and that's what shapes like a balcony or a Demi can help you achieve, um, just to bring them up a little bit more. There's also other ones called like relaxed and slender, mm -hmm. which naturally don't have that kind of more round appearance. They're a little bit more, as the name suggests, like relaxed, um, yeah you might see that a little bit more in like post nursing people or like, you know, just also naturally as well, but it doesn't have that like naturally more round shape. So again, that kind of net lift and round shape is what we might be trying to achieve um, mm -hmm. when you're looking for a bra, just to kind of help get them up there to where the root starts. So mm -hmm. that's kind of that bottom heavy look. Then we have some that are a little bit more um, like, side focused mm -hmm. so there's like east west which is where the nipples point in two different directions um oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. i got armpit titties really oh yeah <laughs> what does that mean your nipples so, are on the side no but they like if i just don't have a bra on they are like they they sort of look like sideways ski slopes a little oh. bit and when i, I like first it. got my bra fitting um she's like you got to get all that titty meat in from your armpit like you got to mm -hmm. bend forward and you got to pick your titty meat up because it's all in your armpit. That's so mine's east west. It's just the titty meat thing that's making <laughs> that's me laugh. That was me. I have a know, and it seems like I'm laughing at you and oh. I'm not. So just say. I like that term. I like yeah. that term. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. So there's east west as well as um as well as uh like side. There's another one that's just like uh just a little bit more like side focused, and that's mm -hmm. where you can fit three or more fingers in between your breasts. Mm -hmm. Um just like, so they're a little bit separated, like me. mine mm -hmm. are, yeah, mine are not like that. Mine are like super close together. Mm -hmm. Um, and for that, there's a lot of concern. People kind of want them to have that like more cleavage look. Um, so usually like a plunge bra can kind of help with that East West, since it's a little bit more nipple centric, you know, a lot of people kind of have that with kind of side focus breast, but it can be on any breast. Right. Um, but yeah, so plunge bras are very helpful in kind of getting in center or uh, getting in the tissue from the armpits as our bras that are like specifically side support bras. Mm -hmm. And they have like an extra panel that can yeah. bring in any tissue that other bras can't. You got so the, 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 the side panel? Uh, I got the wrong bra on today, but uh, okay. I do have a couple that have a, a nice little side panel. And like, I always say, bringing the girls home, they're just bringing it back to, to where God like, should have put them. He forgot. <laughs> he, Everybody's different. That's okay. I haven't felt myself yeah. in any of these categories yet. So then we also have, um, like, uh, 
like centric or like close centered and like round. And so that's kind of the third category. That's so that's cool. one where the like volume is pretty well centered. Um, so like kind of a more round shape. I always use Salma Hayek as my example mm. for that because she yeah. is like kind of the most, you know, well-known one that we can kind of think of. But then that's also ones where we might have like kind of a more triangular shape. So whereas like it's not necessarily like a round shape. It might be a little bit more cone-like, mm -hmm. um, but also just that very close together, but not so much dropped. It's kind of the other more catch-all one, but yeah. you might not find yourself, like you said, Jess, like really kind of feeling any of these labels. It's more so about finding out where your volume is and mm -hmm. what you want to do with it. I have very dense breasts, super dense. Yeah. Yeah. They make me do extra stuff for the mammograms and stuff because it's like you know oh like it's mm -hmm. like just cysts basically which is oh. not abnormal or like not mm -hmm. dangerous or anything it's just a lot of cysts in the tissue oh, oh. i'm over sharing on a podcast That's um okay it, they're very dense if you work with her ignore these i gotcha comments. yeah so it's so i do have that like yeah. support in that it's they're dense and so they're mine are not dense mine feel like a bowl full of jelly <laughs> mine too yeah. so i don't know what yeah. kind of bra to wear but they're you know we'll go get you professionally fitted we'll take a road trip i tried that oh okay. let's fly her in yeah <laughs> <laughs> we'll fly in you can be a guest in person and we'll do yeah, a heck we're not filming home. that one look <laughs> look it's gonna be a mic only okay but for reals if you wanted to come do a workshop at my studio oh where i'd love to we could do like an open house workshop and oh, you pay shit. per fitting we could do that that is a fantastic idea i'm very and we could i would love to i recently did a um more of like a classroom workshop at a university yeah. and i love yeah. that but i would love to do like a fitting workshop honestly oh Ooh. i'm serious that's that. no that. i'm serious that'd be great okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Let's, okay. let's talk about it because I think it's really important. I also, I, I struggle a little bit because I am not a bra fitter. Mm. I recommend to people what, um, typically looks good on body types. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm a boudoir photographer. I have a humongous client wardrobe. My wardrobe mm. is, how do I explain my wardrobe? It, you're double zero all the way up to it's like a card. Yeah. It's a, it. yeah. Sure. And it's four walls of nothing but lingerie and bras yes, and robes. Um, robes and all sorts of things. And so I have like a 30 minute window to get people into what outfits for their four looks. Right. Sure. And so I can look at somebody and go, I know you are an X size and you're probably this cup. Like right. I can get pretty close, but I'm not a bra fitter. So like, I know exactly what looks good on them, but they go, can you recommend to me what kind of bras to buy to look like mm -hmm. this? Board? I'm like, can't do that, but I got a girl. Yeah. And now. you need to go follow her. And you need to come to the workshop. And now we go a workshop. But like, I think it's really important because what I was not aware of is that yes, bras are one thing, but you also talk about bathing suits a lot and you talk mm -hmm. about lingerie a lot. Yes. I don't think people know that there are companies like the Scantillies and the Curvy Kates out in the world that actually sell very specific bra cups and sizes for swimwear and lingerie. Yes. And I think that's really cool that you touch on that. Could you talk briefly about both of those? Like the, the yeah. lingerie side? I mean, definitely. I think like uh, growing up with G cups, I mean, definitely having bra size swimwear is something I would have cried having access to. Mm -hmm. So right. I think like, again, having that information out there is so important. So I think touching on that, obviously right now it's swimwear season. So I love kind of making the summer um, a little bit more swimwear based um, and that's so important. So there's lots out there that I think people aren't necessarily aware of. Um, so there's like you mentioned Curvy Kate, honestly, like, like here's a little hack for your listeners. UK companies make lots more bra size swimwear than us companies do Absolutely. um curvy kate freya fantasy um bravissimo like the uk companies for some reason have figured out mm -hmm. like we need to make our bikinis bra sized um like that the, the us just for some reason has not quite figured that out nope. um so, I mean, lots of those are really good options for up to like probably a UK J cup, um, which is a mm. US O cup. 
Um, and then for like kind of some US companies, some really good ones that I like, there's a company called Kitty and Vibe, which also mm-hmm. makes um, bikini bottoms with different butt sizes. Mm-hmm. So um, like depending on like, yeah, so they have like different kind of coverage and butt types um so if you're somebody like me who has like a slightly bigger butt yeah um, you don't have to like size up to kind of get like a little bit more coverage or like not necessarily have a wedgie or yeah. for somebody like I have like a very good friend that she does not have a butt um she can get <laughs> like the same size but it's like you know, not going to be too covering on her. So you can get like a bra sized bikini top and then also get the type of bottom that you want as well. So I really like the, um, like being able to kind of customize that experience with that. Um, so they're called Kitty and Vibe. The, um, couple of bra outlets that I recommend are Bravissimo, Bare Mm -hmm. Necessities. They carry lots of different brands. There's a brand that I really like called Sunsets on Bare Necessities Mm -hmm. that um, makes some really, really nice ones, depending on like what kind of bottoms you want as well. If you're into more like swim skirts, if you're into high-waisted, if you're into like little tie sides, Um, I really like customizing, you know, like what size and style you want. So I think that's a lot of fun. They also make like one pieces if that's kind of more your scene so they're out there kind of if you Mm -hmm. look for them and I have like a big kind of roundup in my guide as well but um I think it's just something that people you know like I I grew up kind of having to get like an extra extra large and a bikini top just to kind of have like that breast yeah it was never the same size I had to be separate yeah so I try to kind of make sure that people know where to go for um for those as well as and then for lingerie um it's definitely kind of the same thing I think like it's so funny because I think of lingerie as like kind of all-encompassing with bras but then I remember other people kind of that it's like it's different so again I think it's necessary to kind of have lingerie for all sizes and Mm -hmm. so in the lingerie store that I worked in in 2016 to 2020 we had sizes up to 6x so kind of like your uh, closet which so I'm always like if I see somewhere that doesn't have lingerie like past a 2x I'm like what's going on here what is going Um, on here yeah (laughs) so but having bra sizes I think is also an even better step because you know if I want like a baby doll and the Mm -hmm. baby doll is not going to cover somebody's breasts or it's just going to cover like right here it's like okay well what what good does that do because especially if you're doing something like boudoir and like Mm -hmm you're taking photos and it needs to look good it's like right. what, what's going again what's going on here it doesn't right. really do any good so curvy kate does a lot cleo by a company called panache that mm. makes like some really nice kind of younger sexier things yeah. um some really cute like long line bras and yes. fun ones there's like you know kind of more luxury end of companies like on so mm. there's lots of different ones that again I would say are kind of more on some bra outlets like bare necessities yeah. um or bra stop but also depends on like what the vibe is yeah. vibe is if it's more of like a bondage vibe more of like a lace vibe so right. yeah mm. it depends on people's yeah. cup of tea it does very much so and it's hard because like you might find your cup of tea but then they don't even have your size close and mm-hmm. so yeah. you have to like kind of navigate the waters of okay i can layer a really cute bra and panty set that i have the perfect size for with a harness that we got on Amazon that's stretchy. Mm. Yeah. Or like if you want more of that bondage feel, having to like layer pieces because obviously it's not always conducive. Mm-hmm. Um, but like having the really good base layers, I think is really important. So yeah. Yeah. I just think that's really cool. I also buy a lot of my lingerie. This is gonna sound really strange. A lot of my lingerie comes from thrift stores. Yeah. Um, because people have wedding showers and such, and they go, oh, I could never. I would never wear this. And it goes to a thrift store with a brand new tag on it. Mm-hmm. So I buy a lot of stuff mm. from there too. Smart. Um, but yeah, I just think knowing that there's places out there for people of different sizes and different cup shapes and body types is really important. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. hard to find. So given the growth you've had and kind of where you are, where you came from, where you are now, and just the success that you're experiencing, what, what is next for you? What do you, what do you feel like, what does the future look like for you? And what is the 
like that. What is the strategy? I truly have no idea. I have just been kind of taking it like, sounds cliche, but like on vibes. I always have said like, I have been kind of continuing to do this because I grew so much so quickly because I just kept answering people's questions. And three years later, I'm still answering questions. Um, And I don't think I'm going to run out on them anytime soon. And I do... I do enjoy it um, as much as I rant about TikTok a lot and as much as right. if kind of given the opportunity again, am I do, would I do it again? I'm not a hundred percent sure because I hate the app so much, but I love, love my followers. I really yeah. do. Um, I love the relationships that I have made with the brands that I work with. And I love being able to have a space where I think people feel safe and I think Mm -hmm. people feel that they, you know, have a good place to ask questions um, and that they'll will be, they will be answered for the most part. Um, And I like being able to provide that. And the couple of times that I've been able to meet people um, who, who follow me, whether kind of by accident or intentionally has been very validating Mm -hmm. because you know I have my phone in front of me and I film and Mm -hmm. I am looking at myself and I post it and you know I'm responding to the Mm -hmm. comments you know user one two three four five six seven and just kind of going back and forth and yes I have that number the 1.2 but it's the void and I'm I'm posting into the void and so when I meet the people who follow me it very much is a reminder that like, oh, those are all real people. people. Um, And I've I've had a couple of people who are like, oh, you know, you're the reason I have a strapless bra or you're the reason I, you know, have a bra that fits and whatnot. Um, And like, oh, you know, I am, I guess, in some very small way making a difference. And so I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. Um, I also like, I'm verified on Instagram. And so, um, I have this little reminder, like I'm never not going to be verified on Instagram. So, um, that's going to kind of follow me forever. Um, so definitely just, I think continuing to do what I'm doing, um, working with the brands and Mm -hmm. continuing to provide, um, more places for people to be able to shop because, you know, what can sometimes get tiring is when like, I'll post something and then a month later, someone will be like, well, can you post about this? And I'm like, I posted about that a month ago, but I have to remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's constantly new people coming in Mm -hmm. or not everybody sees my content because of TikTok, but, um, yeah. So, you know, they're always going to keep me going, I guess. Um, so I think just continuing to do what I've been doing for three years is kind of the strategy. Beautiful brand collabs and yeah, mm -hmm. just education. And I feel like you're doing, you're doing a very empowered job of, um, helping people feel seen. I know you help me feel seen. Oh, well that's, and you, 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 you can feel how much you love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like don't, I, I know this is hard, but like, after a while you sort of feel like, oh, it's just this echo chamber of like, I'm just posting to post and then something will pop up and it'll remind you that like, oh, these, there's a reason I'm here and the reason I'm doing it. And I know that you'll impact all the listeners that are here today, just yeah. by the knowledge that you put forth every day. And I hope those people go follow you because it's not just like, it's not just knowledge to sell it's knowledge because you care and you want to give the knowledge. And mm-hmm. I feel like that's a totally different platform than somebody comes on and is like, use my affiliate link, just right. buy for me to buy for yeah. me and fund mm-hmm. me. You're like, no, I, I'm here because I want to answer your questions. And I just think of all the people that do the bra fittings online. And I follow a lot of them. I think you're probably my favorite by far. So mm. that's very sweet. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready for the bra fitting. <laughs> like, We're doing that. We are. We're doing that. We're okay. for sure yeah. doing that. TBD. TBD. I love that. That's so exciting. Well, good deal. So if people want to follow you and want to find you, um, mm-hmm. talk to us how they can support you both financially, as well as just in the space of social media. Yeah, sure. Um, so I'm Madison Ann with an E and then an H at the end, um, on TikTok and Instagram. Um, I've been, there's somebody with a Madison Ann that I've been 
stalking and they yeah, there's a caitlin scott too i feel oh like, my gosh yeah i don't know i know like three caitlin scotts so yeah. i i i feel i feel your pain i'll talk to them and see if they'll <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to them <laughs> um so um that's me um in terms of like I don't know, financial support. I have like a support button on in my beacons, which is the link in my bio. Um, that's just like a little tip jar that you can pay me through PayPal. Um, yeah. you don't have to. I also have, I have a ton of like affiliate links, yeah. mm-hmm. um, which I always like forget to promote. It's funny you mentioned about like the affiliate links because I kind of forget that I have them because yeah. my kind of goal is always to like I kind of collect discount codes because it's like a yeah. big thing for me is to like pass along, just pass mm-hmm. them out. Like if a brand's like, Oh, you know, here's a code. I'm always like, Oh yeah. Okay. Great, great. A code for my followers. I don't really right. care if I benefit so much for it anyway, right. because right. if that 15% is what right. makes the person able to buy a, their first bra, like then that is enough for me. So yeah, there's affiliate links, um, in the beacons as well. Um, discount codes that y'all can use. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's probably the easiest ways. Um, watching yeah. my TikToks, uh, yeah. goes towards the creator program. So that. there's a couple ways. Um, if you don't want to spend money, just watching my TikToks is probably the easiest way for yeah. me to mm-hmm. earn a couple. We points. love that. But, we love yeah. asking that question too, because like, Sometimes people can support you just emotionally. They can support you by yeah. sharing your information or sometimes it's like, Hey, I have the money to purchase and I just didn't know I needed this or things like yeah. that. So I think that's an important piece. Cause this is, you can give the free knowledge and you can stay on this platform because it is how you pay your bills. And I think mm-hmm. that's important to like, know that that's, you know, that's a big piece yeah. of this. And that's why we, people show up. That's why mm-hmm. we continue to do what we do. For sure. Like and share, like and share. We yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And definitely check out the bra resource guide, which is yes. like the biggest link in my beacons. I would like kind of start there if you have any preliminary questions about bra sizing, bra types, where yeah. to buy bras. I have it all sectioned out into whatever you need. Mm. Um, but as we've talked about, please don't DM me looking for like your unicorn bra um because i don't know i don't know where your unicorn i literally bra is. just said don't dm me I surely yeah. just told me not to do this <laughs> um so i think my boobies are this Kayla and i told me to dm you so i was just wondering <laughs> <laughs> i'll take her out for you it's okay she's okay. small i won't do she's that. small but mighty <laughs> <laughs> this is fun boobies yeah. boobies i learned a lot okay did you mm-hmm. yeah isn't yeah. she amazing she is i know Aww. A cute oh little piece of chicken meat. I, I know. It. She's so good. Yeah. She's so good. Well, good. Thank you so much for coming on today. Absolutely. Is there anything else that you think our followers need to hear from you before we go? Um, your boobs are normal. Um, <laughs> your oh, boobs cool. are absolutely normal. Um, your and your bra size exists somewhere. Mm. Your bra oh, shouldn't be uncomfortable. And if it is, there's a solution for it. Um, so Check out my bra guide, watch my videos because the solution exists and I don't want you to be uncomfortable with your boobs and with your bra. So I don't know why that just made me want to cry a little. Because we're uncomfortable Uh in our bra and our boobs a lot. I'm sitting here uncomfortable in this piece of shit bra that I know doesn't fit, but I've I don't know. We got to get rid of it. I know. I, I'm working on it. <laughs> okay. I'm working on it. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. Absolutely. We had thank so much fun. So much fun. Mm-hmm. And uh, make sure to follow and like what the body, if you like our content, mm-hmm. uh, make sure to follow us on IG. We are at what the body pod and on, um, we are not on TikTok, but we are on YouTube. I thought about that today. See all the behind the scenes. <laughs> uh, watch this video. If you have not, you can find us at What the Body and you can stream our um, our podcast anywhere that you listen to your anywhere podcast. Listen to your podcast. And awesome. Go, fo- go follow Miss Madison. She is amazing. And I just thank you so much for being here thank and you, for Madison. being you. Thank all right. you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, and we are signing off. Signing off. I don't know where that was going. Bye. Bye.